And joining us now is Robin Dreek, retired FBI special agent and chief of the Counterintelligence Behavior Analysis Program. Uh, really looking forward to our conversation here. This is quite the story. Uh, so you think that brave woman who escaped may have prevented untold future attacks. Would you mind explaining your reasoning behind that? Uh, my pleasure, Kelly, and, and no doubt. So th this subject's at the age where serial rapists and heinous people really start their proliferation of their dark arts of taking advantage of people. And so being 29 years old, he was just at the forefront of a probably a long career of taking advantage of women. So I'm just glad that this woman had the bravery to come forward, not just come forward, but break out of there because he greatly underestimated. He profiled her as a victim based on her line of work, not based on her. So his undoing was his objectification of her. Wow. And when you look at the images of that cinder black room, it gives you chills. The fact that he was so methodical in a police uniform, uh, what do you see as an investigator? You know, it's interesting. There's, I, I see a lot in there. He used the uniform as a lever of influence, of power and authority, which to me, it shows a little bit of laziness because when you look at that cinder block, there was a, obviously there's a lot of thought and premeditation that went into this, but I'm also seeing a a, a good enough mentality because if you look around in there, it, the bricks aren't interlaced. There, she was able to break out. There was, I didn't see any soundproofing. So again, this is just from one photograph, but I see a good enough mentality. And so, and you see all the debris out there. She's able to pick up a taser on the way out. There wasn't a huge amount of thought of after. And so hopefully what we're going to have come forward is a lot of other women that are going to be able to testify against him because they set up the network with a website and everything. Because I think this good enough mentality that he had when constructing this is going to hopefully be his undoing. Wow. We've got about a minute left, but does it surprise you? No one seems to have noticed what was going on at this home. How does someone build a bunker in their garage and there are no suspicions raised? Def definitely doesn't surprise me. We've seen this with a lot of other people recently, especially of just kind of hiding in plain sight. When we're trying to hide nefarious things we're doing, people get really good at doing it. And also, if you look at the materials he used, he's using standard home building materials. The only thing that would have been possibly alerting, obviously, is all the cinder blocks. But all the other materials he used are pretty much found around the home. So it would be easy to, I think, to hide it in plain sight, especially if he's got years of repetitions behind hiding horrible behavior. Wow. And in about 30 seconds, how does law enforcement find other potential victims, especially if they were victims of sexual violence? I think two, th well, three things that are come about right now. I think they've done a good job of setting up a website to do just that for um, potential victims to log on and, and state what's going on. Backtracking through his life, like they said, including a cyber footprint. But also, I think when setting up these networks of a website for um, potential victims ago, I think it's really incumbent upon communication with local law enforcement in those areas as well that know the community really well to kind of make these other uh, potential victims aware hey, this gentleman came through this area. Do you know anyone or you yourself part of that? So I think it's a collaboration of all the other law enforcement in those areas as well that'll help. Well, we hope they get some answers. Robin Drake, fascinating conversation. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.